you want to see my handbag of the day? Here it is. Why is it invisible? Because I don't have a handbag of the day. Why is that? Because I'm not leaving the apartment. School has officially been canceled until March 31st and possibly beyond that. So we are going to stay here in social isolation and this course I'm wearing just to be funny. These don't help. Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget from high-end luxury handbags to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure that you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. I hope that you and your loved ones are all doing well amid this coronavirus pandemic. Like I said, school has been canceled through March 31st and possibly beyond. Uh, it was canceled starting March 13th, so we were just about to go into spring break for a week. It's basically been extended for an extra week and a half. And I know I have people from all over the world here, including China and Italy, some of the hardest hit places, and my thoughts are certainly with you. All right, today's video is reading mean comments. I have done one of these videos before. I will link it below. It was quite a while ago. Honestly, I don't get very many mean comments, so it takes a while to build up a stash where I have enough to make a video, but I do have some good ones here. And I want to say, just because in the first video, a lot of people commented, I got very positive feedback from it, which I appreciate. And a lot of people commented, you don't have to make videos like this. You don't have to explain yourself to anybody. You don't have to apologize for being who you are. Those people are just jerks. I agree 100% with that, and that is not why I'm doing this video. I'm doing it because it's sort of fun, it's a video that people enjoy, but also I'm doing it because through YouTube I have developed very thick skin. Anytime I get one of these comments, it doesn't bother me in the slightest anymore. It did in the very beginning, but I have learned that these comments are not about me, they are about the people leaving them. I would never leave comments like these on a stranger's or even somebody I know, uh, their channel, their social media, or I, I wouldn't say these things to people either. So it makes me think that there is something wrong in these people's lives, that these people are unhappy in their own lives and they feel like they don't have control of how happy they are, perhaps, and so they're taking that out on other people. It's unfortunate. That or just no one ever taught them how to be polite. Some of these comments are mean, some are just rude, some just seem kind of thoughtless. So I'm doing this video in part in the hopes that some people who are watching who are more sensitive when they receive comments like this, that it makes you less sensitive to them because it's not about you when somebody says something like this to you. It is about them. So I'd, I hope this helps in some way. If it doesn't help, at least we can get a laugh out of it. All right, let's get started. And also I'm not revealing the identities of any of the people who left these comments. That's not what this is about either. It's not about hating on them. Okay, first comment, this person says, and this was on the video that I did about how not to get tricked into buying fakes and it gave some advice on looking at listings of dupes and of pre-loved bags. Some things that people do to try to trick you into thinking that they're not fakes, but they really are. So this person said, I feel like I'm watching a video from 2000. So I had a few things to say about this. First of all, I was a little confused as to why. That makes me think like they already knew all that information and learned it a long time ago. So this tells me that they are not thinking about other people. A lot of these people who leave these comments do not think about other people. They don't seem to think about anyone except themselves. So this person doesn't seem to think about the people who don't have this information. People who maybe are younger or people who are just new to this luxury shopping arena. So there's that. But then the other thing that confused me about this comment, they said, I feel like I'm watching a video from 2000. Did we even have the internet yet back then? We did have the internet, but it was very new. I remember I was first introduced to the internet in high school, um, which was in the late 90s. But YouTube didn't exist in 2000, so this doesn't make sense from that perspective either. All right, if you watch my channel, you know how much I love agendas. I have a small stack that I just pulled out of my work bag right here. This is 
uh, five of them. And if you know me, you know I have a lot more than five. I believe this comment was left on one of my January videos where I was talking about using agendas, organizing your new year, things like that. This person says, I do not understand why people like agendas at all. You have a cell phone, use that. So again, we have this theme of not understanding other people and thinking about how other people have different perspectives from yourself. For me, yes, I do have a cell phone. It's right here. Most of us do. I also have a computer. I have tried in the past doing digital calendars and things. I hate it. I really hate it. I would much rather have 20,000 agendas. That makes me feel much more organized. I know what is in each of them. I know which one I have certain things in, certain information in. It is so much easier for me to organize things that way than it is to use a cell phone. This would make my life much more chaotic if I was going to try to organize everything I have to organize on this. I don't know if this person just doesn't have much going on in their life, that they don't have much to organize, that all they need is a simple monthly calendar with a thing here or there. I have a lot more than that going on. I don't know. Maybe they have a lot going on too and they've mastered doing that digitally, but I, I have not. So I am very happy with agendas. A lot of people are very happy with agendas. It's too bad that this person can't seem to see outside their own brain and realize that there are other people in the world. All right, this comment, I believe this was on the, and I'm looking over here at my notes. I believe this was on the collaboration I did with Jill Maurer, where we talked about bags that I would never buy new and I mentioned the Pochette Matisse. And I talked about the quality issues with that and repairs and how Louis Vuitton, sometimes you'll take something in and they'll repair it or replace it. And they'll tell you on the second bag, okay, if the same thing happens, then we're not gonna replace it because you already know about the issue. This person disagrees. As the owner of a Pochette Matisse, I have to disagree with you that if you purchase it twice, the assumption of risk theory still doesn't apply to LV potentially refusing to repair or replace the bag if any issues arise. That including known issues such as gla glazing, this isn't written quite so well. This could have been written a little better. It sounds like you don't have much or an experience at all owning designer bags that are purchased brand new from the boutique. So the first part is fine. She's just disagreeing. She has a different experience or a different opinion, fine. The last part is kind of rude. Now there is some truth to it. I don't have much experience owning brand new bags from the boutique. I have two bags that were purchased brand new from Louis Vuitton. I've never had problems with either of them. I also have other items that I've purchased brand new from Louis Vuitton that I also have not had problems with. However, having a YouTube channel about these handbags, I am a bit obsessed with them. I watch other videos, I read Facebook forums, so I hear a lot of other people's experiences, and I have heard firsthand from people who have bought bags brand new that have had problems and they've taken them back, had them replaced, and been told, we will not replace or repair this second bag because you already have that issue. So my response to this person, and by the way, all these comments that I'm reading to you, I don't respond to these people because it's been my experience over my years on YouTube that when I do respond, 90% of them are not there to have a conversation or participate in any kind of intelligent conversation. They are only there to argue and to put you down and try to push your buttons. So I have learned that the most efficient thing to do is to just block these people immediately. Before I do that, I always check to see if they've commented before, and if they have, if there's somebody who has left other positive comments, maybe they're just having an off day or something, then I'll just delete the comment and not block them, unless it's really awful. But if they've never commented before, they just get blocked. So my response to this person would be, she said it sounds like I don't have much experience. I would respond that it sounds like she doesn't have much experience in hearing about all kinds of experiences from Louis Vuitton. You can't just go on your personal experience because it is quite varied as those of us who have heard all kinds of stories know. Louis Vuitton has anything but consistent customer service. Okay, this next comment, I don't know what it means, so I'm gonna Google it. Um, it says, this is utter claptrap, and I'm not sure which video this was left on either. So let's Google claptrap, because I've never heard that before. Doesn't sound nice. All right, Google says claptrap, is absurd or nonsensical talk or ideas. 
Okay, wish I knew which video that was on. I did screenshots of all these comments and some of them I included which video it was and this one I didn't. Okay, here's another example and I do get these, like when I post videos about dupes, I expect to get comments like this. There's usually one or two on each video. So this one was on a recent dupe that I unboxed and it says, aren't dupes kind of anti-luxury slash cheesy? I kind of feel like you get the real thing if you can afford it, but otherwise the fake just calls attention to the fact that you can't afford the real thing. I'd rather have a real no name or real lower level brand. I've addressed this opinion so many times before and it is yet another example of people ignoring the fact that there are other people in the world with different opinions about things. In fact, I made a whole video about this that I will link below about why people prefer dupes over the real thing and other reasons that people buy dupes. So this person, maybe I shouldn't have deleted her comment, maybe I should have just linked that video for her. But yeah, it's, it's just another example of thinking that your opinion is the only one that matters. This goes hand in hand with that last comment about dupes. This was on the same video. This person says they look fake. I'd just be so embarrassed carrying around a fake bag. If I didn't want to buy the real thing, I would rather get a different design, something that's more inspired rather than a blatant copy. Sorry, I just find it so tacky to carry fakes. That's great, you're welcome to your opinion. You don't have to buy dupes. By the way, these are dupes, not fakes. That doesn't mean you get to control what other people do with their money. And again, this was on another dupe video, but this was a different video. This one was called Amazon Designer Dupes. And this person just said, counterfeit garbage, same as counterfeit money. Again, they're just not recognizing the difference between dupes and fakes here, or they're wrapping them up and thinking that they're the same thing, which they're not, but a lot of people think they are. And I mentioned before that there are people who do videos called Amazon dupes, but they don't actually show dupes. They show fakes. So maybe this person thought that's what this video was. Maybe they didn't even watch it. Who knows? How can I take that seriously when it's not even factual because I wasn't showing counterfeits. I remember that in my first video about mean comments, I talked about how people would leave comments about a person's appearance and how it, there are just so many problems with that. It has nothing to do with the content of the video. It shows how shallow that person is that they have nothing to say other than you're ugly or pointing out some other visual feature of a person. And the fact that they think someone's appearance actually matters. Since that video, I actually have gotten almost no comments on my appearance. So that's a good thing. Not, I don't think that video changed anything, but just coincidence. But this comment I thought was especially interesting and funny and ignorant. I don't remember which video this was, but apparently I mentioned that I have lower back problems, which I have had for quite a long time. This person says, this is the only thing they've ever said on any of my videos, and this is all they said in this comment. They said, you have lower back problems cause you are fat. And they put fat in capital letters to really emphasize it and make sure that that is the word that stood out to me. So it's funny because it's, clearly intended to be very mean. Doesn't hurt my feelings at all though, for a number of reasons. And it's partly true because I certainly am overweight. I always, always have been. There have been a couple of times in my life where I've been closer to an ideal weight, but for the most part, I've been overweight since I was a kid. That has to do with a number of things, but it's an ignorant comment because I absolutely do not have back problems because I'm overweight. Now that doesn't help. It would help me sometimes to lose the weight that would take some pressure off my back. That part is true. However, these problems did not develop because of being overweight. They developed because I grew up poor and for a number of years I slept on an old hand-me-down couch which did not have support. That is where my back problems started. And back then I was much, much thinner than I am now. And in fact, now my back problems are much, much less than they used to be. And that's because I've learned how to manage it. It has little to do with my weight. And I know a lot of you have back problems too, because it is a very common thing, no matter what weight you are, no matter what fitness level you are. So I know you guys can understand how ignorant that comment is. I will address one last thing. Every once in a while, I'll get someone who takes the time out of their day to when they've watched one of my videos and found something that they find unsavory about it. Something that just rubs them the wrong way. Whether it's Vincent whistling or an opinion that I have. Oh, 
like this comment. I don't have the exact comment because I didn't screenshot it. This is actually what prompted me to do this whole video. Someone took the time out of their day after watching a video and not being happy with it to go in and comment and let me know that they were gonna leave my channel and why. She said I was pretentious and I'm about the furthest thing from pretentious if you really do watch my channel. And she said I only cared about the numbers so she was unsubscribing. Now she didn't say what made her think I was pretentious or if she really understood what that word means because it doesn't seem to me like she does. She also didn't explain what she meant by I only care about the numbers. Oh, I remember that this was on the video. It was my latest Louis Vuitton collection video and I talked about having, was it a $30,000 collection? So I don't know if she was talking about that number or something, some other number, I don't know, because she didn't explain, so I really don't know. She was trying to tell me why she was leaving, but she didn't explain it well enough for me to understand. I saw that and I, I think it's interesting when people take the time out of their day again to let you know that they are leaving your channel instead of just leaving quietly. Like if I am subscribed to a channel and something changes and I don't want to be subscribed anymore, I just click unsubscribe. I don't go on and tell them how awful they are and that they've lost a subscriber because of how awful they are. What's the point in that? But after I got that comment, I was on Facebook and came across some group where someone did exactly that. They were saying, it was a private group, and they were saying, you know, I'm leaving this group because of this, this, and this. And people started making fun of them um, and posting memes. And I'm gonna show you these two memes that I thought were really funny. This one, this isn't an airport, you don't have to announce your departure. I thought that was quite clever. And then this one, I just love. I'm going to unlike this page right after I post about unliking this page and then hang around to see what people say about me unliking this page. And I thought that brought up an interesting point too because one of the reasons that I delete comments like these and block people is because when a negative comment is put up, it breeds more negativity. You get other people seeing that comment and saying, oh, I feel that way too, so I'm gonna post about it. Whereas they wouldn't have before if they hadn't seen the comment. And my channel is not a place for negativity. We're all about love and peace here and handbags. Anyway, those are the mean comments that I have collected over the last two months, maybe. Not very many considering the hundreds and hundreds of other comments that I get that are all either neutral or positive. You guys are fantastic. I don't particularly want people who leave comments like this to be part of our group. So it doesn't bother me at all when they choose to depart. All right. Stay safe, wash your hands, and I'll see you back here next time. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. Have a fantastic day. Bye.